Dan the Computer Man. Hello, welcome to Dan the Computer Man. In today's episode, episode 23, I'm going to show you guys a cool and handy new thing that comes on all new Dell laptops and desktops called the Dell Dock. Now I didn't get the opportunity to show you show this to you guys in my Dell Inspiron 1525 review, so I might as well show it to you right now. Right here you have some predefined categories for programs such as email, chat, internet, photos, music, videos, office, security, and help and support. Right here you should have a separator and you can add more of those in too if you want. And to the right of that you just basically have some icons for, for launching some of your favorite programs or you can just create new categories. And I'll show you how to do that later in this video. So right here this is the shortcut to launch my default web browser or Zilla Firefox. Some Dell best of what thing. And show a desktop which I got from the quick launch bar because I'm using this as a replacement for the quick launch bar because it is really cool. So under email and chat you have Windows Mail and as you can see I added in AIM6. And by default this icon was named Read Mail. But now I renamed it Windows Mail. As, you can, as you'll see throughout this video, I renamed a lot of icons to make this stock my own. And later in this video, I'm going to show you how you can rename some of those things. Under Internet, you have Internet Explorer, I did Mozilla Firefox, and Parental Controls. Under Photos, you have Windows Photo Gallery and Photo Explosion, which I added in because that's my favorite photo ed editing software. Under music you have Windows Media Player and I added in iTunes. Under videos you have Rockshow Creator 10.2, Windows Movie Maker, Windows Media Player, Windows Media Center, and I added in DVD Decryptor, Vidora iPod Converter, Camtasia Studio 5, and Vixie Converter Beta. Now I'll be providing links to some of those programs in the description. Under Office you have whichever Office programs that came to computers. Because I got Microsoft Office Home Student 2007, I get Microsoft Office Word 2007, Microsoft Office Excel 2007, Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007, and Microsoft Office OneNote 2007. Under security, you have parental controls, protect your computer, which is for the Cafe Security Center, and I add in Adware. I will also be providing the link to this as well in the description. Under help and support, you have customize your dock, access support tools, help with Microsoft Vista, owner's manual for computer, protect your data, and transfer your data. So, I think this is pretty cool. Right now what I'm going to be doing is showing you how I can rename the categories and change the icons. So what you have to do is right click on it, click edit, and as you can see this add slash edit category window popped up and I can change the title of it and I can just change it to something just like email. Oh, sorry. I didn't want the email chat part, but I'm just gonna change it back to email chat. There we go. And as you can see right here, these are some of the icons you can use for these different categories. So let's say I didn't like this little envelope and a bubble icon, I could change it to this. And then all I just had to do is click save. And then as you can see, it changes instantly. But I'm going to change it back now because I think this icon is just fine. And also, you can add new categories. By doing that, you can just right click on the dock, go to add, click category, and then it'll show you this window again, the same one that pops up when you edit a category. You can just type in whichever category you want. Let's say you want easy access to your games. You can just type in games, 
and you can find a Pokey icon for that, which would be this one. So then I click save, and it goes right there. But I'm gonna delete that. So whenever you delete a category, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete the category in the category called games? All shortcuts in this category will be deleted. And then it will give you the option of deleting the category in the shortcuts or not to delete the category at all. So I'm going to click yes. And now I'm going to show you how you can customize your dock and stuff. So click on help and support. And click on customize your dock. Then this little thing will slide down. And you have option for changing the dock location and behavior. So you can have it on top, on the left, or on the right if you don't need Windows sidebar, which I do so. I just keep it on the top. And you can also change the display behavior. So you can have it auto hide to the edge. So you can feel like you're more on Mac OS X, kinda. And if you're in an open window, you can also have the option for it to bring to the top when your mouse nears the edge of the screen. So I'm going to show you what this option does. So now as you can see, you see a little portion of the dock up on the screen. When I move the mouse up, it goes down. I think that's pretty cool. I tried it out once, but I thought that I just wanted to dock up all the time. So I'm going to turn it off. And also, as you can see, I changed the color to red. You can, all I just had to do is change the color, go back into here, click change the color, and you can click whatever color you want. Of course, it was so, this the default, red, chocolate, dark gray, and a lot of other colors. And if I click this, it'll go to that color. But I'm going to keep it on red. And also, as you can see, there's an option for transparency, so it looks cooler in Vista. So, this is what will happen when I turn off transparency. It becomes kind of dull, so to keep the Vista effect, I'll just keep transparency on. And that thing shows you how to add a shortcut, which I'll show you how to do. Egg.contents. I already showed you how to do that. Advanced settings, under there you have dock options, run the startup, lock dock settings, so if you don't want anyone to fool around with your dock. Settings data, under that you have backup slash restore settings, restore factory settings, and reset all questions slash warning. Under unloading the dock, you have close dock and turn off dock and switch back to desktop icons. And about it just shows all the copyright stuff. Dell Doc version 1.0, or today version 1.00. Copyright 2008 Stardock Corporation. And that's the same company that makes Object Doc, which I think that is pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you how you can add and remove a shortcut from the dock. All you have to do is Choose one of your icons for your desktop and just drag it up onto the dock. And now as you can see I added my sound editor waypad on here. But now I'm going to show you how to delete it. All I just had to do is right click on it, click delete shortcut. And then it will show you this one thing that says, are you sure you want to delete this shortcut from the dock waypad sound editor or the name of the program you put on there? You have option to yes, delete shortcut from dock, yes, delete from dock, and move shortcut to my desktop, and no, do not delete the shortcut. And as you can see down here, you also have always use this answer as you do on some of the other option things. So I'm going to do yes, delete shortcut from dock. And that is about it. I hope you enjoyed this little, little video on the Dell dock. Overall, I think it's pretty cool and it's much more efficient than Quick Launch and it adds a little Mac OS X feel to Windows Vista. Thanks for watching and have a great day.